We got fire in the hole. Look at the fire coming out of my kiln. All right, let's see what it can do. Stay tuned. We're going to check it out. All right, we might have had fire in the hole, but it was not good. At first, I tried using these right here. These are what you burn grass with. You get them from um, Harbor Freight. Too much fire coming out, too much blaze. So what I ended up doing was converting it to my old burner that I built right here. I got it offline, how to build it. By the way, do not try this at home. Very dangerous. So let the gig master take the chance. All right, here we go. This worked and uh, it was heating that up. I'm gonna have to make another one to put on this side now. But it did heat it up. Here's the, uh, I'll tell you about these in just a second. But it, Jeffy, I, I'm testing the lid first. So I uh, put the lid in there. The first time with the other one, it didn't melt it at all, barely. It did start to melt it, but fire was coming out the top five feet. Couldn't do it. So then I did it with the um, the new burner, just one burner, and it melted the heck out of it real quick. Within minutes, it had the lid melted. And I poured it into my cup right here. Uh, it's still, look at it, it's still, um, the lid is still liquid, look at that. Now I did buy some things to take that off the top. I don't know if I have it. Let me go see if I can find it real quick. I would have found it, but it's probably too late. Yep, yeah, it's too late. It's still a little bit moist, but you can take this and should be able to scoop all the trash off the top. But it's already starting to harden right now. Check it out. That's liquid lid. But it's starting to harden. Look at that. See that right there? Liquid lid. And it works. Um, I'm going to tell you about these containers I'm using right here. These are the ones my friend made. I think the old exhaust. And they got a little bit of stuff in them. It's already burned off now, but check it out. I got these. I made these right here. So we can pick them up, pick it up, and then a little table in the back to pour it with. Pretty cool, huh? It's working. All right. We just got to make another burner here. That thing was red hot. So I think it's going to work. And uh, the fire ant art will be coming to a theater near you soon. All right. Well, let's keep getting up here. I might have to do a couple more test runs on my burners and my system I have set up here. But so far, with a few modifications, I think we got it down. One burner melted that, no problem. Uh, lead actually melts around 600 degrees and aluminum will melt around 1200 degrees, so we gotta get twice as hot. But I just wanted to test it with lead first to see how good it worked, and it worked. But I gotta have another burner on the other side, so we will have to make another burner to get it going and uh, I'm really excited about getting uh, to make the fire ant art I'll put a picture of it right here to show you what the end result should be if we get it working right but right now we're doing a little bit of testing and a little bit of practicing right now before we get to the real job site so I'm gonna do some more uh, lid melting and test that out some more and maybe I'll show you that in just a second here we're going to melt a little bit more lid see how it does with one burner all right stay tuned all right, I think we're ready to give it a try. I'm gonna shut the gas off first. Gas is off. We're gonna pull it out, see if we can scoop it off the top and stuff, and then we'll try pulling it. Are you ready? All right, let's get it ready here. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if it's melted all the way. Yeah, it's melted. Oh yeah, she's ready. Let's get her out of here first. I can see a lot of trash right here on top. I'm gonna try to take this and get the trash off of it. See if this works. See that right there? That's all the trash that was on top. It's looking pretty clean now. Put it one more time. A little bit more off of it. All right, yeah, it's cleaning up pretty good actually. See that little pieces of trash. It's still liquid though. See that trash coming out? All right, we're gonna be able to pour pretty much pure aluminum. I mean, uh, lead here in just a second. Still a little bit of trash in it. All right, we're gonna use that. We're gonna try it now and go with what we got here. Are you ready? All right, let me get here and zoom in on the uh, on the pan here. We're gonna pour it on. We're gonna try to pour it right here. This right here, right now. First, we're gonna lift it up with these two. All right, we're ready. I'm not in my... All right, here we go. Get this in here. I just made this this morning. Drill the holes in it. So we can lift it up like this. And then this one right here, 
we'll go in the back of it like this and then we can pour all right here we go ready let's see whoa get take it nice and slow all right that's one liquid lead all right i think it's working i see a lot of little debris down the bottom we get out but hey, this is a welding glove right here i'm looking good to me we all think i like it all right, we're going to do, keep doing a little bit more testing here and uh, get the other burner built and we'll keep getting up. All right, stay tuned. All right, just a quick wrap up. The pan, I don't think it's going to work. Um, I literally had to peel this one off right here, off the bottom. It stuck to it really bad. Now this one popped right out. Came right out, no problem. Got a nice little, uh, so warm too. Got a nice little, um, you know, muffin of uh, lead. And we got this one here that actually came up pretty good too. But I had to peel that one off too. That one actually stuck too. So I'm not sure what to do with the muffins, you know, with the pan. We had to get a different pan. Not the dollar store, which I tried at first. But failure, you know, that's what well, you got to learn from failure. And when you saw me picking the stuff off the top, this is the kind of stuff coming off the top. These are like the sinkers, the pieces that are in the sinkers and stuff. That stuff floats to the top, and that's why you got to peel it, scoop it off the top with, um, with something like this right here. And this worked perfect. Now that was a perfect thing to use right there. It scooped and came right up. Kind of hard getting it in there to uh, do it right, you know, because I couldn't get the corners. I guess I could modify this a little bit. Anyway, that works. I'm going to keep that. That's a dollar store item there. That worked. But uh, you got to do that to get all that stuff off the top so when you pour it, it's nice and clean. When we do the aluminum, we'll be doing the same thing. We'll be picking all the trash off the top of the aluminum so we have nice, pure, good aluminum. And what we, once we get figured out, we'll make uh, little muffins of aluminum. So when we get to the field to do our uh, fire ant art, the, these nuggets will just sit, sit right into our container and melt them real fast. So, we learned a little bit today. And I hope y'all enjoyed just seeing what I'm working on as far as getting y'all some good fire ant art video. And uh, it's going to take a little bit more engineering here, and uh, but we'll get it done. I don't have a problem fa failing like I did today. There's one burner's definitely did not work. You got to have a more of a burner that's direct, uh, directly on that tube instead of just a big ball of fire. So we learned something there, but I'm still going to be able to use those same ones I bought for the knobs and everything. So I think they're going to still come in handy. So anyway, appreciate everybody coming along today. I'm going to keep working on a few more things here. I always get maintenance done and keeping up with stuff. So um, anyway. Stay tuned for the next video. Uh, I think I feel like going out doing some Civil War hunting tomorrow. I haven't been out in a while, so I'm ready to get out there. So hopefully I'll get it, be able to get out tomorrow. Depends on the wind and the rain and everything, but uh, we're going to try to. All right, thanks for coming on this uh, adventure. Uh, please click like, comment below, share, and subscribe to the Gig Master. You never know where we're going next. All right, thanks for coming along. Mm -hmm.